All right, guys, you're watching me, Superman, and this is a hardware, a hardware review on a keyboard that I acquired from Littles. You can find them all over the mainland in the UK and in some places in Germany as well. And I hope that you enjoy this hardware review on this gaming keyboard by Silvercrest. All right, so the main looks at the keyboard. It basically has got some black PCB. Um, Rest, rest. Now the, the description of it is that it can be removed. It does say on it that it can be removed easily. The only thing that I did notice is that it can't actually be removed easily at all because it is actually screwed in, as you can see guys. It doesn't extend either. They have black PCB feet, which obviously has a rubber base on them, which obviously it helps to stick to your desk but I would say with a lot of weight on them they probably would break price and lidls at the minute in the UK you can get it for $29.99 um, the keyboard obviously is very nice itself it is full RGB but it isn't customizable to a certain extent it doesn't have software where you can customize every key it also doesn't have certain profiles that can be saved it does have a download section up the top, but I don't know if it's when you're downloading files on your computer where it would flash, or if it's where you can save the profile. I haven't worked it out because there wasn't really a good manual. But for £29, which is around, um, I'd say about €34, Euros, it's not too bad. You know, not bad, not bad. So basically, it's got an aluminium frame around it. It is a semi-mechanical keyboard, so basically it sounds mechanical, feels mechanical, but it's on a membrane. If anybody doesn't know what that means, it basically means that it gives you the same responsiveness of a mechanical keyboard. It does have, in this one at the minute, blue common switches instead of like the Cherry MX reds or the browns that you can get. And it basically... Um, it, can, it gives you the same feel as mechanical keyboard. Mechanical keyboards rated to about 50 million clicks. This keyboard, you're probably going to get about two, three years use out of it instead of the standard like five. Um, it has a Gorilla Gaming logo. You can also buy their gaming mouse and gaming uh, headset and stuff. But I can't find their official website for Silvercrest. If anybody does have it, please link it up on the YouTube channel. But I have tried to look for them. Um, I'm trying to find out exactly what the gaming section of Silvercrest is with this gorilla. But um, so, if anybody does know, let me know. And that would be great. So, the keys do levitate under the keyboard itself, like a new RGB designs. Um, also, the feel of the keyboard is very good. It'd be easily cleaned because it's all aluminium it doesn't come with USB on the sides or on the back of it and the cable is braided though it seems very sturdy there's no movement at all in that the cable length itself is about uh, 1.2 meters so you still can get a good length to wrap it around your desk and to cable tie it, it doesn't come though with something to cable tie it up usually some of them come with a velcro strap um, Caps lock is obviously visible, and the same as num lock and all the rest of the keys, as you can see. So, customizing the the lighting is one thing that I will say is pretty good, but also it's not good enough. It says that it's fully RGB. It does animate too. It does breathing, pulsing, flashing effects. And obviously it does left to right or right to left in RGB. But the only thing that I have noticed is that, yes, it's RGB because it's got all the colors. But the colors don't rotate from one end to the next. The colors itself, actually, this one, will, this side will always stay green, orange, yellow, orange, pink, purple, blue, light blue. And that's the way it will do. So if I change the design, which you have to press function and a number. So if I press function on four you will see that the rgb is now working the lights are obviously moving in a tandem design but you will notice that this is always green the green isn't flowing through the keyboard with the rest of the colors following suit 
so that's one thing I did notice at night time the keys are visible so let me just turn off the light here for you guys so you can clearly see how uh, bright the keyboard actually is so this is the lights off at the minute and you can clearly see that the keyboard is visible enough and the lights do follow in tandem so if I change to another function for you guys uh, this one will be like a breathing effect and it will obviously do some randomization on its colors different sections so this is coming up orange and pink and then the next will be the other three if I change it to another function this one will be five where it's a bit quicker you can speed it up by pressing function on the arrow keys and it will just bring up different designs this is it sped up for you guys and so it's pretty nice in some, in some ways that it does have these settings on it but it only has nine customizable modes for the lighting itself function and four is the default function which it comes with which is basically this one i actually like to use the one where it's just fully lit up so i will press it function and one which will just light it fully up as you can see the keys are bright enough to see at night the only problem i'm finding though is you can lock out the windows key so the windows key can be locked out by pressing holding down the function button and holding down the windows key itself this means if you're in games and you accidentally hit this windows key it will not minimize your game because it's disabled if you want to re-enable it though you just press the function again on the windows key but the only thing I did find is that if you play with the arrow keys like some gamers do, they like to play with these and use shift for jump and control for a crouch for instance, your finger will accidentally hit the light button, which instead of being usually up in the top right or around the F1 keys, it's down beside the control. And unfortunately when you're playing and if you hit it by mistake instead of because the control is very small, compared to the other keyboards it will turn the lights off so if you're playing a dark game in the night you will struggle to quickly find it where you're needing to put your hand for the rest of the keys so it can affect you if you're playing a, an fps game and that you're using the wasda but for 29 pound in the uk around 34 euro it's pretty solid you know i don't see any flex or bending on this aluminium frame the only thing, as I said, I'm worried about is if you put too much pressure on it, the back PCB um, plastic basic uh, feet on it will, will snap. But this is a Silvercrest gaming keyboard. As I said, guys, if you know the gaming website directly linked to this, let me know because all I can find at the minute is the page on, Le on Little's itself. This offer that they're running at the minute is going for this week. It does run at a max polling rate for 125 hertz and it does have anti-ghosting on on the keys as well guys so it's pretty nice for you gamers out there that like to move use things pretty fast but be warned the anti-ghosting keys are only 19 keys so all the rest of the 105 and there's 105 keys all in 19 keys are anti-ghosting the rest of them are just basic but the switches can be changed so if you want to put faster switches in like the uh, Cherry MX Reds, you can. And it is, apart from that, a pretty nice standard keyboard, guys. And I would recommend this. If you're looking at cheap keyboard out there and can't afford like Steel Series um, Apex 750 or M800, for example, or you're looking on eBay for some cheap, tattery RGB keyboard, you know, I, I would say this one's far better. I would definitely go for this one because this one has a nice feel to it yes the wrist uh, rest can't be detached easily like the website does suggest but you can detach it yourself if you've got your star head screwdriver you need a small number but you can then detach it and have it standard and it's easy to move around on its feet or you can lower the feet itself the feet itself only comes in one height when it's up so it can't be adjusted just like the wrist rest but apart from that guys pretty good keyboard and I would recommend this to anybody that's on a budget and is wanting to get into gaming
keyboard itself though is a, is a bit smaller than say a steel series or a default land keyboard that you would usually get and the mechanical keys are a bit loud but if you put the cherry mx reds i'm sure they'll be a bit more silent on the springs the keyboard itself you can hear if i click in so if you like that mechanical sound then that'll be good for you but as you can see by the the noise it's pretty loud. If you play with a headset, you won't be too bothered. But if you're playing like on speakers on low or something, you know it might bother you due to the decibels that it kicks off. But apart from that, guys, you know it is a pretty solid keyboard. If you're interested, as I said, this is called a Silver Crest RGB gaming keyboard. And as you can see, this is their website on Littles. I cannot find their official website, so I'm having to use the the shop where I bought it from and it is a pretty snazzy enough keyboard if you guys are interested hope you enjoyed this review you've been watching this hardware review um, from a product that obviously was supplied by Littles um, and I'm Superman's follow me on Facebook YouTube Twitch Twitter and on Steam have a good one guys